All right, okay, welcome to another deathmatch. Uh, last week, our long-standing champion, the uh, Swamp Raptor, was finally defeated uh, by the Jorogumo from Forbidden Fortress. Um, spider Queen Demon thing. So, uh, let's see if the Jorogumo can have as good a run as the Swamp Raptor did. So, we've got the new tile, which is the uh, Forest of Dead. She's her home, and Spider's Lair. So in terms of Challenger, I thought, let's see if her victory was um, just a bad pairing. You know, what was, was it a bad pairing for the Raptor? Uh, can she handle some of the previous enemies the Raptors has faced? So we've got the Guardian of Target, the very first deathmatch opponent we had that the Swamp Raptor kind of chew up a bit and spat out. So we're gonna try that and see see how we go. So Joraguma, I'm uh, just going back to last week where we remember about the Joraguma. Uh, lots of attacks, very low damage, but the more webs that the Guardian picks up, the bigger the damage those goes on those. Um, so the longer this match goes, the greater favour it is in the Joraguma. Uh, meanwhile, the Guardian itself uh, kind of doubles down on that a bit because the more damage the Guardian takes, the less attacks it gives out. So it's kind of having a, a sort of a, you know, a double dip on that. The longer it goes, the less in the Guardian's favour it is. And the Guardian does have 40 health. It's got a lot. It's got a quite a bit of health. It's got a reasonably high defence of four. Um, and it's also got those extra laser shots it can do. Um, if I'm going to call it though, it's going to be the Jorgumo. Uh, the Jorgumo is just going to tear it apart. I think after about maybe five-ish turns. Um, I think the Jorgumo possibly might not be so bad if you if you've like got a party of heroes, like four or five heroes, but versus single, uh, single which is particularly when we've given them all only one skill, you know, one level in each skill, um, it's just going to eat their Guardian alive. We shall see though, you never know. So, round one, uh, let's have a look. Shuffle is the uh, first thing that happens is the Jorgumo activates and has the spider magic. And the spider magic of choice is Black Widow. Until the end of the turn, all the spellcaster's attacks are plus two damage. Okay, that's actually going to give it a chance, because previously it didn't have much of a chance with no webs, but, but now it might. So up it comes. And start hitting it with the fan or whatever it does. So eight dice for attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Quite a lot of dice. And we can put one web on. Uh, so that's one from that. One, two, four. So it's not actually going to be enough to do any damage to the Guardian. But it has put a web on. Guardian's response. Uh, for, right, there's a lot of things it has to do at the start of its activation. So can it try and get out of that web? Five or more to get out of that one web. Yes. Okay. Spider's Lair. Uh, five or more again to avoid picking up a web. Yes. Okay, so it's not got any web. It's cleared its webs. Shoots its lasers. Two dice. Four or more. Wow, two hits. All going the Guardian's way. So that is two peril dice. And got one. Here you go. Here's a second. Two peril dice of damage on the Jorogoma. Uh, four and a six. So that is three damage to the Jorogoma. Out of 25. Then does his normal melee attacks, which is four Dice hitting on four or more. Okay, average looks starting to slide away from it there. So two hits, which will do two wounds, which puts the Jorgumo on five. One fifth of the way there. So if we can do that every turn, it might last sort of five turns, I'm giving it. So that was round one. Round two. So shuffle up the spider magic. Let's go again. What have we got this time? We have the spider's web. All heroes immediately take one wound for each webbed marker they currently have. Ignoring defense. Well, they don't have, Guardian doesn't have any. Any hero that has no web markers immediately gains a web marker instead. So there you go, it's got its web marker back. Uh, the Jorogumo again is going to attack. It's not going to be able to do any damage, but it might put more web uh, markers on. So, as I go. Yes, there we go. So that is uh, one, two webs. 
two webs. It's almost enough to do damage. So I'm doing four damage per hit, which is just what the defense is of the, of the Guardian. Guardian's turn to swing back. So Guardian, does it remove one of those? Five or more? No. Does it pick up a new one for being in the spider's lair? No. Uh, two laser shots from the laser. One hits. Does free damage once again. So eight there. Uh, four melee attacks. Hitting four more. Two hit, another two damage. So another five. It's actually it's actually doing quite better and better than I thought. I think it's about to take a ton of damage once more web come down. Round three. Spider magic. That one. Oh that one is. This one is Mesmerize. Until the start of a spellcaster's next activation, all heroes are minus one to their to hit rolls assigned to this model. Natural rolls of six may still count as critical hits. I mean, they might, but the Jaboom is immune to them, which is why I've not been doing the, um, the Quake Smash. Um, so, minus one to hit that. I mean, it could. Okay. Jaboom with their attacks. Four attacks. So, eight attacks. With four damage at the moment, plus whatever goes on with webs. Okay, so that's two webs. So we're now doing six damage per hit. And three hits. So that is three times two is six. Six damage to the Guardian. Not suffering sort of control system um, losses yet. But you can see how this is now going to build up and it's going to start taking a lot of damage each turn. Uh, Guardian's turn. Does it shrug off one of those webs? No. Does it pick up a new off being in the lair? No. Okay. Um, two laser shots at minus one to hit, so that is fives to hit. They both miss. Four melee attacks at fives to hit. One hits, so probably off camera, but yeah, one hit. Eleven. So that was what, round three? Round four. Bewitched. A random hero is bewitched by the magic of the Spider Queen. That must pass a Spirit Six or more test. Spirit Six or more test, or immediately lose their next activation. Are they bewitched? They are. Um, so they miss. So the Guardian misses its whole next activation. Eight attacks from the Dragoma, doing six per at the moment, but might go up. Goes up by one. So seven damage per hit. Three hit again, so nine now. That's taking control system damage. It's only going to have three attacks. I mean, it doesn't have any attacks because it's missing this go. Back round to the Jarguma again. Let's go with this one. What's this one? This one is Black Widow again. So until the end of the turn. Spellcast attacks are plus two damage each. This could be quite dangerous. So eight attacks at plus nine. Plus whatever the webs are going to give them. Another web. So seven webs, two from the Black Widow, and a base of one. Ten damage per. So miss, 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 miss. miss. Three hits. So that's three, that's 18 damage. One, that's five, 10, 15, 18. So 33, it nearly killed. So it nearly destroyed. I guess you can't really kill a robot. Nearly destroyed the Guardian there. Uh, I don't know if there's any way the Guardian's going to survive this. But anyway, the Guardian now swings back. Uh, does it shrug off one of those web tokens on five or more? No. Does it get webbed by the spider's lair on five or more? It does. So eight webs. Shoots two lasers at four or more. Both hit. Two parallel dice damage. Uh, one. 
And then we've got one combat hit. Misses. Back to the Jorgoomer. So, this one, which is the Spider's Web. All heroes immediately take one wound for each web marker they currently have, ignoring defence. Bang. That is the Guardian destroyed. Webbed to destruction. And that was what, round five? Was that what I called it? Was that round five or was it round six? I can't remember. I could probably check on the video. But anyway, yes. Uh, about about right, I think. About what I thought. I felt that uh, the Jorgoomer just, the early turns, so just builds up webs, doesn't do much damage. And then later on, it's just doing so much damage on each on each um, on each day. You just don't have uh, that long to deal with. Um, so it needs to be something that kicks out a lot of damage quickly. Which I thought, you know, obviously would have been the Raptor, but the Raptor couldn't deal with it. So it's like water deals out damage faster than the Raptor. We'll have to think ahead. Or you need a way to soak an immense amount of damage coming your way. Again. Not really sure what I see it'll do that. So yeah, for the moment, Jorogumo is a champion still. Can she do five in a row like the Raptor?